Welcome everyone to Bonifab Custom. My name's Rob and today we're going to be doing a review on Creality's Falcon Pro 10 watt laser. Let's get right into it. So we got the laser here. There's the instruction manual. Okay, so it's it's pretty vague. It just shows the full assembly here, shows the parts, and then it kind of just shows a couple of steps. But you have to really look at those details here. Really fine details. It's really small, so you gotta really look at it closely to figure out which way things are going. Things like the front bar and the back bar, you have to watch which way they are located because they only have screws um, in place on one side, okay? So if you put it on the wrong side, you'll go and put the, the uh, feet on and then the screws don't line up, okay? So just, you gotta be aware of that. So the one uh, bar that says Creality will be in the front the laser will be in the front and that stepper motor will be on the right side with the stop. Make sure that you put the right bar in because there's only a stop on the one side of this bar. The other side or the other bar does not have any and, and that's the mistake I made. I wasn't really looking at the detail, I kind of was rushing through it, put it on the wrong side, had to take it all apart. I was actually contemplating drilling and tapping a hole because I didn't want to take the whole thing apart. Um, also this back bar, I did this once where I put it the opposite way and again it only has screw holes on one side for those feet. So just pay attention to that, that it's going the right way. As you put the belts in, okay, so they're, they're mounted on one side, actually this side they'll be mounted. It comes from out of the box mounted, but the opposite, opposite side where you put the tension, okay, they kind of go through these feet. You got to beware that uh, once you have this um, all the way down and you have those belts fed through, just make sure that they're it, the bar or this gantry is not on an angle and then you tighten it, it will move on an angle. Okay. So you got to kind of line up those gears not the gears, but the pulleys that run those belts, these cog pulleys. Um, just make sure that when it has that movement to the front, you're kind of looking at it to make sure it is parallel with that front bar. And that's all I did. I just made sure it was parallel so it can move nicely back and forth. And that's it. Um, the tube, the water tube. Now I haven't run this yet. I'm going to see if this is going to work. Uh, it did come with some Velcro. I just mounted it on the existing wire that's there. Okay, I didn't want to mount it on the gantry or anything because, I mean, it could get caught. Um, yeah, the wa um, I don't know if this is even water cold. It's just the line that, I guess that's a maybe an air pump. I haven't, again, I haven't turned it on. I don't know that much about this 
this uh, laser yet. Okay, so I mounted that. This is the unit. I plugged in the cord here. This is the power cord and this is the pump, I guess the pump cord and there's an adjustment here and the switch, the on off switch. And also it has, um, I guess a lockout switch. Okay. And it has an emergency button, which is great. I hope they start putting these on uh, 3D printers because all 3D printers need an emergency stop just in case, right? In case we don't crash the machine. Okay, let's uh, power it up and try it. So this is the Lightburn software. It's pretty easy to use. I'll just show you a quick demo on uh, what you can do. Uh, so if I want to engrave some lettering, I click on this, which is a lettering, click on the screen, uh, type in whatever I want. Bonifab, it's like that. Escape, and if I push escape again, it gives me this little box around it. I can grab it from the center, put it wherever I want on my screen. I can also size it like this, up and down. You can also change the sizing inside this width and height. So I'm just gonna push escape. And then I'm gonna draw a little border, say around. Bonifab, kind of like that. Okay, escape. Now, on this um, right side here, which is the cut layers um, window, this is where you can determine the intensity and uh, speed of the cut. Now, if you have two different cuts. So if you want to engrave the center and you want to cut the outside, you need to change the color of it. So if I click on this and I go red. Okay. So right now it's also, I have to change um, this here. So if I want to fill it, that's why it looks like it's filled or just have a line. So like that. Okay, so now I have this box going around, just to show you quickly, like that. I'm just gonna zoom up to it. And uh, the outside I wanna cut through. So on here, this is telling me my mode. Okay, so I'm gonna do the line and the intensity, click on that, the intensity right now is set at uh, 600 is the speeds, millimeters, uh, I think millimeters per minute. And then the power, it's at 100%, so that's gonna cut through whatever I'm doing. And then I wanna go to say the Bonifab part, the black right here, and click on that. And here is giving me the speed 2000 millimeter and 50%. So it's not going to cut all the way through. This is safe for leather. I'm going to not going to cut all the way through, but I also want it. I want to have it filled in. I just don't want it to line. So what you do is on here where the black is, that's the, this bonafide part. Go down and fill and you can see it now it filled it up. And if I want to see the preview of the cut, Go up to here where that little window is, click on preview, and it shows you that's what the laser is doing. It's going back and forth. It's going to cut this outside. It's going to go back and forth and cut the, um, the Bonifab, fill in all the letters. Okay, and then you can switch around, like if you wanted to cut through first or cut the letters first or cut this first or that, you can switch the order it's 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 um it's basic but it, it does the job um now this isn't the for a uh, full version this is just a free version so i'm not sure if the full version gives you a little more options but uh, this seems to be able to get you started you can also import uh, files and again i'll go through a little tutorial on how to use a light burn for importing and uh, 
how to uh, create it as a, um, I guess, a line or, or trace the image, and then you can cut it out. On here is basically where it operates the laser. So if I want to home the laser first, click on it. And then if I want to cut it, I just push start. And also if I want to orientate where my piece or my material is, I want to push frame and it will. Let me just show you that. It's actually going to the frame of the outside of my engraving or cutting. So then you can line up your parts. And that's about it. Let's uh, get some stuff drawn up and then I can uh, start testing some materials. After testing the laser about 10 hours on different materials I think this is a great laser uh, I do highly recommend it for the price it can do a lot of materials now I did some testing with the, the stainless steel I was very impressed with how it etched the stainless steel also cutting of uh, the leather uh, different types of leather I tried. The one I showed you on there was a deer leather. Worked out great. Cut right through. That's going to be a game changer for me for making sheaths. Um, also, the wood stuff. Cuts through wood, no problem. Etches the wood. And for me, the carbon stuff and the fiberglass stuff, I'm going to get a little more into it. But now I can cut out some templates. I can cut out, cut out some... Uh, stencils, things like that, that I use um, every day in my shop. For a 10 watt laser, excellent laser. Okay. Um, I would recommend this to someone that's starting out with laser and they have a, a wider variety of options that they can do. So they can start off with just doing engraving instead of buying something that's too small that only can engrave. This can work up to doing some cutting. So overall, great laser. I'm not sponsored by Creality. Uh, this was my purchase. And I also, because I was impressed with this, I purchased a 40 watt, which is four times stronger than this laser diode. So overall, the Creality Falcon Pro 10 watt laser, excellent laser, and I highly recommend it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and Stay tuned for more videos on the lasers coming up. Thanks.